Thanks, thanks, Maridel. Always wonderful and was wonderful today as well to see all the M's in, in action. It was Memory Cafe, the Magic Monday, and Mastia, who's done an excellent job with the Portuguese, and Maridel, who's leading the show now. So, and Macrame, by the way. You know, I, I'm so excited about the way Macrame is turning out. It's really turning your curtains to look so good. Your house is looking beautiful. Uh, you all are looking beautiful with the earrings. Uh, and uh, now I've seen that your toilets are going to look beautiful as well. <laughs> so that's great for all the interior decoration that uh, thanks to Sabrina and, uh, and sisters, Adeline and others, who just put this together. It was really, it's really exciting to see how it happens. And I would just uh, hope that all of you all uh, start participating very actively and learn various things that, that have been taught at the Memory Cafe. Um, now, as, as Marie Del mentioned, I was, I was very much touched by the way you all reached out to other people, and that's the whole spirit of uh, the Memory Cafe, how you all reached out to Susan. Susan's daughter had dengue, um, and uh, she's come out of it, fortunately, and uh, uh, I thought in the sip, I'll, I'll speak a little bit about dengue, because this is an infection that does come up in, in spurts, you know, you have these explosive outbreaks of dengue that take place especially in the monsoons, in the mon and especially if you have intermittent rains. If you have rains for some days and then it stops and then you have the days, a few days are sunny, that is the time water collects and the mosquito breeds and you have huge outbreaks because the mosquito population increases and they kind of spread that disease. You need to know a little bit about dengue and how it spreads and, uh, and uh, what really causes this, this infection. So dengue spreads by a mosquito. You all know that. What's the name of the mosquito, anybody? Dengue. What's the name of the mosquito? What, what type? It's not all mosquitoes that transmit dengue. It's some particular species that transmit dengue. Anopheles? No, no Anopheles transmits malaria. malaria. Anopheles for malaria. The female Egyptus. Anopheles mosquito is for malaria. For dengue, it is this one. Aedes. Very good. So that's, uh, yes, Aedes mosquito. The picture over here is that of Aedes mosquito. This one over here is Aedes mosquito. Yeah. So it's, a, it's, a, it's different. If you see an Anopheles mosquito, it sits at an angle. Uh, to the ground. So wherever it sits on, on the surface, it sits at a 45 degree angle. You'll see the Aedes mosquito is sitting almost parallel to the floor, you know, to the wall or to the floor, wherever it is, it'll be sitting parallel to it. Something very characteristic about the Aedes mosquito, it is black and white. Have you seen this? Can you see this picture here? It's black and white. So that is the mosquito that causes dengue, chikungunya. So these, these diseases come from the Aedes mosquito. Now the Aedes mosquito, you need to understand breeds in clean water. It's not the dirty water. It's not some lake or something. It's going to be the clean water that's all around your house, in your garden. Uh, the, you have your pots and you have some uh, plates put down there. Uh, so in there, water collects. So that's the place that the Aedes mosquito can grow. Uh, if you have some bottle thrown out, buckets, tires, overhead tanks, uh, water coolers, so all these are the places that the Aedes, some vases kept somewhere in your house. These are the places, clean water is where the Aedes mosquito will breed and it transmits the dengue virus. That's a virus that is causing dengue. There are four types of dengue virus. Okay, there are four types of dengue virus. And interesting to know this. Uh, and if you get one type of dengue virus infection, you will not get the same type again. But the problem is you can get the other types. So it's, it's not going to give you immunity to the other types of dengue virus. And the problem is if you get the infection the second time, the second time is more likely to be a very complicated infection with hemorrhage and other problems that could be there. So keep this in mind, if you have dengue infection for the first time and get it the second time, the second time can be a much more complicated infection. So that is something that you need to be very careful about. What the biggest problem in dengue is that your platelet counts will drop. So you're more likely to bleed. And for some of you who probably, anybody had got dengue infection in the group? If you're willing to, Say so. Yeah. So keep in mind, if you live in an area where dengue infection is, is common, say, for example, there's an outbreak in Karanzale. And in Karanzale, if you get fever, think of dengue first, okay, and get yourself tested. There are very simple tests that can be done to find out whether you have dengue infection or not. So get yourself tested, and then accordingly, the mode of treatment can be given to you. Now, how can you recognize the signs of dengue? One is fever. So you'll have very high fever, around 103, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. That will be the temperature that you'll, you'll be getting. You'll be having severe body ache, and sometimes it's called breakbone fever. That's the reason why it's called that, because you have very severe body ache. You can have retroorbital pain. So behind your eyes, there, there is pain. That again is a sign of dengue. You can have vomiting, you can have nausea. Uh, 
uh, you can also have uh, some petechia, sometimes there's some bleeding points somewhere suddenly on your skin. So, but don't wait for all these things to happen and then say, okay, now this could be dengue. If you have fever itself, think of dengue because there are outbreaks of dengue taking place. There could be outbreaks of dengue taking place where you live, or it could be an outbreak of dengue taking place where you're working or where you go to school. So, because dengue mosquito, the Aedes mosquito is a day biter. It bites during the daytime. It bites around two hours after sunrise or two hours before sunset. So that is the time it will bite. So that's the time you may be at work and you may get infected at workplace and you will not think about it because at your place where you're living, you don't have dengue infections. You don't think about dengue, but you could have been bitten at the workplace. So keep that in mind. The dengue uh, mosquito is a day biter and it's quite a fierce biter. It will not only really bite one person, it will bite seven, eight people to get its blood meal. Uh, and so it will infect a number of people. And that's why you have explosive uh, outbreaks of dengue. We have outbreaks of dengue and we also have outbreaks of chikungunya taking place because it's the same mosquito that can transmit both the disease. If you have dengue and if taking aspirin, remember that you need to stop aspirin because aspirin is a blood thinner. Dengue also affects your platelets. Platelets are required for clotting of blood. So the same thing can happen and they can act together as a result of which you can, there are more chances of you breathing. So stop your aspirin. Second thing, keep in mind, do not take painkillers. You'll have severe body aches have retroorbital pain sometimes you tend to take over the counter painkillers do not take painkillers because they also can precipitate the bleed so keep in mind if you have fever take crocin don't take a painkiller and remember that severe dengue is a medical emergency severe dengue is a medical emergency you cannot say that i will manage it at home i'm going to take this papa leaf extract and everything's going to be fine it may not be fine you need to check yourself you need to check your blood you need to monitor the platelets I'm not saying you need platelet transfusion right at the beginning. The doctor will decide when the platelet transfusion will be required. Um, but if it's severe dengue, uh, you need to, especially if you're having vomiting and diarrhea, et cetera, and you're feeling giddy, uh, there is severe fever, you need to go and see a doctor and, and get yourself admitted and manage dengue. So don't worry about dengue. Not many people die due to dengue, but den dengue can be dangerous. Okay, so you have to be careful. And the best thing to do is always prevention is always better than cure. That's my sip for the day. Thank you, Doctor. Most welcome. As usual, informative, interesting, and always we have your words of caution that we can remember that would keep us safe. So the baseline is, or the bottom line is, try to avoid getting bitten by mosquitoes altogether. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Doctor.